Hey everybody, John Bustegger here on uh, Bubbleowers Facebook. I'm here with Jason Michaels, the founder of Standard Motorcycle Company. We're kind of in an industrial part of Orlando here. We got Brendan behind the camera. Say hi, Brendan. Hello. And uh, Jason, we're going to do a little tour of the place. Fantastic. But before we do that, how did this place come to be? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, uh, I've been in the motorcycle industry for uh, 15 years uh -huh. and uh, I moved from Tampa St. Pete, had a successful business that I exited um, and just uh, wanted to do something in the community. Uh, instead of selling motorcycle parts, I wanted to help people build motorcycles. Uh, we, we should tell people we're kind of like on the edge of College Park. We're actually uh, on Silver Star, off of yep. Silver Star. Yep. Kind of like I said, in an industrial part of town, packing not, district. Not too. I like how you say that. Not too far from where I live, actually. Yeah. And Brendan and I are going to do our uh, podcast here tonight. But before we decided we would do a little tour here. It's on... so cool. We had to share it. Yeah. Come show us yeah. everything. Show so us everything. Let's, let's take a little walk here. So if you've never been, come out and check this place out. If you have a motorcycle, this is a super cool place to fix it. But uh, it's not just motorcycles, you can skateboard here. Yeah, we've got all kinds of stuff. We have a very uh, eclectic group. We have you know, young people, uh, right? We have people that listen to rap music. We have people that listen to you know, rock music, whatever. It doesn't matter what you ride. You don't even have to ride. So you know, we've got a barber shop inside. We have a you know, full service women's hair salon. Right, all of this stuff, a coffee shop, we have a private members only bar, so we are a members only club. Mm -hmm. um, but then, a biker out, club, I'm, no, we're not a biker club, <laughs> we're, we're a bunch of hipsters. You're a private club with bikes, that's right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so outside, right, you know, before we go inside, we get hot ladies on picnic tables, hey, hey. freehand, <laughs> freehand goods, riff, riff maniac. <laughs> Um, but you do like shows here and stuff we too. Do. Yeah, so we do. Um, we've done crazy shows here, right? Um, Eagles of Death Metal, Queens of Stone Age, Little Vicious, uh, Black Magic, Flower Power. We, we're, we're involved in the entertainment industry. Yeah. Uh, other things that we do, broadcast, you know, communications. Uh, this is essentially our office, right? And we're into cool stuff, so this is our office. So wait, um, whose bike is this? What kind of motorcycle is this? You got me. I don't know where that thing came from. <laughs> that's uh, my bike. Sure that's <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, it's a yeah. math teacher, I fifth grade well, math I teacher. I close by, so well, I'm bicycle. We'll get right, you, let's keep going. We'll get you on an Indian soon enough. All right. Uh, I need that little <laughs> sidecar, because I don't know what I'm doing on totally. a motorcycle. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> Show us, boys. Let's keep uh, going. So, um, There's a so, cat. Yeah, so, Music outside, right? Patio area, hang out. Got the freehand leather goods trailer there. They do production. Um, Are we go inside or outside? Let's, uh, let's go through the shop. Let's first. go through the let's shop. Let's follow Scout. This is Rainbow. Hey, Rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> What's Scout the, the cat? Scout. It's like To Kill a Mockingbird. That's right. <laughs> so this is where this is where people can come and fix their bikes. People can come and fix their bikes, they can build their bikes, they can work on their bikes. Uh, it doesn't matter what it is, again, right? From scooters to Harleys to Hondas to cafe racers to choppers, bobbers, whatever. It doesn't matter. If you ride two wheels, you come in here, you hang out. Even bicycles. Even bicycles. Ah, right. Even bicycles. <laughs> so, See, so why do they need this? Why not just do this in their own garage? Well, for one, you know, it's expensive to have all the tools and equipment that you need to do, like, the right job. Mm -hmm. uh, we should probably kill that. All right, we're gonna turn the music off, and we're gonna keep looking at tools. Yeah, because, because all yeah, kinds of yeah. cool bikes in here, and all kinds of tools, and just like you know, if you have a bike, this is where you can do all your work at. So fabrication, mm -hmm. right? You know, educational classes, welding, you know, actual bike building, electronics. So we basically have, you know, we have a couple of guys on staff here, uh, mechanics, fabricators. Uh, they're here, so as a member, if you have an issue, right? Help, right? You know. <laughs> They can help you get through it. Cool. So we also do, right, because I came from the world of building custom bikes, you know, we build full custom bikes. You know, there's a couple that we passed out, you know, outside coming in. Uh, this one right here, this is a bike that's getting ready to go to, to <laughs> Thailand. Really? Uh, yeah, crazy story. Um, a young kid from Thailand came to Orlando to go to Full Sail University for video production. Huh. And for his thesis, um, in graduating from whatever the equivalent is in Thailand, <laughs> uh, he designed a custom helmet and then went into production and actually moved to Orlando from Thailand, brought all these custom helmets that he made, bought this bike when he was here and was like, I want, good night y'all. See ya. Rainbow Left and to friends. go back to Thailand and was like, I want you guys to totally build my, like 
full custom bike. I mean, like all of this. This is cut and welded on. Like, wow. It's, this is a, this is what you would call an XS 650, uh, early 70s Yamaha. Um, a bike that kind of looked like that Honda in stock trim, right behind it. So like, you know, just kind of like an old vintage cruiser, but all chopped up. So we, you know, we do stuff like that. Um, How do you get that done? You just ship it on a boat? Uh, that will build a crate for it, and that will go. Yeah, it'll go. Really? It'll just go on a freighter. Um, I mean, I've shipped bikes all over the world. So that's just all made from scratch. Most most of the the work yeah. that is on there is all done by hand, right? Okay. But like. This fender is not made by hand. Okay. Right? This tank is not made by hand. Okay. But all of, you know, all the mounting hardware, right? All of the, you know, this frame, right? This is cut and welded. So this whole section, right, is, you know, manufactured. Okay. So we make this and you weld it onto this. And then, you know, the foot pegs, you know, all of that stuff is all custom. Huh. Crazy. So yeah, so we build custom bikes, we build race bikes. Um, you know, but the cool part is, right, this is a co-op community garage. So membership based, you can come in depending on your level of involvement, right, gives you a certain number of hours. Come in, you work, you do your thing, you can learn, right. Um, we have some people that are just, they come in to change their oil once every three months. That's it, you know, but they, they get a beer, they hang out, they listen to some music. And we have people that are here. Well, show us the rest. Yeah, show yeah, us yeah, like absolutely. you said, when you look here, it's not just one kind of bike. There's all oh, different kinds absolutely. of bikes. Absolutely. We got, we got a bunch of stuff, right? So vintage bikes. This is another XS 650 vintage Yamaha. This is a vintage Honda. These are two fully custom built bikes. These are probably you know between 18 and you know 22 grand a piece. Uh, that's a brand new Triumph that we're building for a client. This is our. I like drill. this. This is our. I like the sidecar thing. This is our <laughs> camera rig, man. We well, wow. uh, multiple, right? You can, uh, you can turn this thing into a fantastic camera rig, but you can also pull the seat out and fill this with ice and fill it with PBR or <laughs> OCB or whatever you drink. But it's supposed to be for humans, right? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Can yeah. I sit in there? Oh, uh, it is, oh, not right now. Okay, all right. They got, don't they don't break it, John. Break Get it. out of here. They got, they got it jacked up. They got, right. they got the rear wheel off. All right, of that's fine. Uh, when it's ready, I'll get a ride. Yeah. It looks like a cool running's bobsled. It oh, does. It does. These things are amazing. They're Santa you know, sleigh. They're from Russia. This is a Ural. Uh, they have been made the same since roughly after World War II. What happened was the Russians seized a bunch of factories in Germany. So these early Urals are actually the same as early BMWs. Oh. Because they, they literally stole the tooling, the machinery, the equipment, everything to make these. Wow. Yeah, I and love so then, that. So then you look at like the, the line, like BMW started to go like this. Girls just kind of bend down. <laughs> but, but they're fun. They're blast. They're, 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 cool. they're, they're fantastic. So yeah, so full, you know, full custom motorcycle shop. Learn, you can build, you can do, do anything that you need, right? We've got a a rubber band ball. <laughs> rubber band ball. Yeah. Pee Wee's Playhouse. Um, out back. Um, you can squeeze through here. How did you get into bikes, Jason? Ah, uh, let's see. My first bike I had when I was seven. So outside, it's a little messy. Uh, membership, right? Everybody's got like a, a cubby, a bin, a locker. We try to keep it as organized as possible. We're bursting at the seams. Okay. Good problem to have. Good problem to have. Yeah. Very, very good problem to have. Uh, but so you know, we have a salon, so like the laundry area for the salon and everything is back there. We're gonna get to that. We'll get to that. Okay. <laughs> uh, shower. John Vu at Factor actually built this. We love John Vu. John Vu is the man. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, Things out, have happened. Out back, nothing, nothing really. Eventually, I'll build like a big deck back out here, and you know, have like kind of like a back backside VIP relaxation. Also known as the spot where no one can come to because I'll lock it from the other side. Now they all know. Yeah. You just pull that shut. Um, so, uh, yeah, so all kinds of motorcycles, right? Primarily Indian. Uh, you know, I'm an Indian ambassador. I work with. with what does that mean? Uh, well, there's three of us in the world. Um, really? Yeah. Uh, we're custom bike builders, we're influencers, you know, just persons of, you know, persons of a. Position, I guess. Do you want me to murder the other two? <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. I'll, I'll do it. it. Then you'll be the only one. I'll give you that big farm later. <laughs> um, but no, so so we uh, you know we do a lot with with many motorcycle brands, but Indian we do a lot with specifically 
You know, you can see the marquee painted on the building. Uh, we've had VIP events for Indian here, corporate. Because um, you know, you're also a video production guy. Yes, we yeah. do full production and uh, primarily broadcast. Okay. You know, di digital broadcast, right? So, you know, John and I were talking about before you got here, right? You know, we had just finished the Emmy Awards. So in 2018, right, in the 11th hour, the Emmys were like, we're literally, it's, it's going to be canceled because we don't have enough viewership. We haven't sold advertising. People were freaking the fuck out. Well, one of our good friends lives in LA and we have this really interesting tech thing that's been going on here that we can talk more about later. Um, but we were able to deliver, right, two and a half million views for the daytime Emmys, uh, you know, last, uh, 2018. And they were like, oh my God, this is insane. Well, two and a half weeks ago, we finished uh, the 2019 Emmys. We broke almost 18 million mm. views in, in four hours. We're going to pick your brain about all that. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. So, yeah, motorcycles, uh, beautiful guitar playing wife. Um, Water bathroom, plants. Bathroom for the salon. So, you know, intentionally, right? And this was like a nasty ass bathroom, right? But talking about building everything, like, you know, built all that stuff from scratch. Bought the sink, bought the chair, bought the mirror, bought the cabinet, and then just whatever, made, made it work. But intentionally, you know, to bring people through, you know, the rest of the, the space, you know, to come in to, you know, get their hair cut because we want people to be exposed to motorcycles. It's part of it, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, you know, community tools, right? Before we go back inside, you know, we have like, literally, everything. we have everything you can need. We also have special tools um, because we have an interesting Is that John? I'm, yeah. I'm your special. <laughs> yeah, John is definitely special. <laughs> because we have like interesting relationships with all the OEMs, because we do marketing and content, you know, bike builds. What's an OEM? Uh, original equipment manufacturer. So okay. Harley, Honda, Indian, Triumph. So we work with all those brands at, you know, an executive level because we do projects with them. So when I need a special tool, it's like, I just call my homie at Triumph, who's the head of, you know. Sends you a ruler. Yeah, whatever it is. It <laughs> so but it's a huge benefit because like this ruler, yeah. this, this this Triumph ruler could cost you $1,200. Yeah. And if you just need to like change out something on your bike once, now we're getting into the benefit of the co-op, yeah. right? You know, yeah. the shared resources, Not it's not just knowledge, but it's, you know, it's all of the things inside these walls that you don't have access to. There you go. That's cool. a shout out to all you local gearheads if you're looking to do some biz. Yeah. yeah we got custom $1,200 rulers. <laughs> <laughs> Only the best. And um, we should say, if you're just tuning in, we're here at uh, Standard Motorcycle Company on the cusp of College Park getting a tour. That's right. Jason That's, here. It's just uh, sandwiched between the packing district and the ghetto. Like, we're, <laughs> we're not in the packing district totally, but we're close. Yes. I see um, a Molson sign. That's great uh, for my yes. people. Molson Golden. That's right. Absolutely. Love, this is like uh, your hangout room, right? So yeah, so this is Lounge. Um, over the last nine months, kind of building out the media broadcast business, uh, this you know, this kind of doubled as our office. So for like five months straight, there was a team, myself and you know five or six other guys, nerds of all different varying degrees and you know expertise. You know we were here, we were fucking pulling you know three days a week, not sleeping. Mm. Like just working, working, working. It's working. got like a recording studio vibe to it that I'm really digging. Oh, and then there's, and then we have, yeah. <laughs> uh, no wonder, no wonder I felt like this. That. This, uh, this is the, the office now phase two, right? So I, I was able to actually kind of like move the guys out of here into here. I baited them with an air conditioner. <laughs> um, but there's just you know there's so much stuff going on. I mean we have we have roughly not including myself. Um, there's 39 persons nationwide that are attached to either post pop or standard as a brand wow. and what we're doing. Um, you know, so we have, we've got a, we have a big group of people and, you know, people fly in all the time. I mean, we have, you know, one of, one of our main partners is in Boston, right? Um, so he's, he's always in and out LA all the time, New York. It's primarily New York, LA, and Orlando. That's like the triangle. You know, it's the three are... best cities in the United States. <laughs> Absolutely. In order. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so, you know, lounge, hangout, um, you know, just relaxing, doing the thing. And then. Uh, I could live here. Inside. Oh, oh hey, oh, Barnes. Hey this is the fun spot. Oh, hey, this guys. is the fun part. <laughs> So, um, oh. <laughs> so, yeah, so now, you know, you guys are okay on camera? You guys are totally fine. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> out here, um, you know, we started with, we started with the barbershop up front, and it was the two stations yeah. that you saw up there, and then originally this was going to be a bar, and we were going to build, a, you know, 
a front counter, you know, in front of this, and that would be the back bar. We we, we were in it. We were in an interesting position. Um, Indian a few years ago was like, hey, we want to have you know a VIP owners ride event, um, but we'd love for you guys to have like a full you know a full bar because normally we would we would bring in you know partner with somebody, and uh, I was like, oh, actually no, like we just we actually just built the bar. Did you build it or not yet? <laughs> so, so, so what happened then was it was like okay, this is not going to become the bar. We converted the front to the salon. This is barber shop, and then we built that bar nice. in a week, and then had 500 people from India here. Wow! Yeah, during, wow! Yeah, and now this is just like a, a, a somewhere you yep. can get your hair. So cut. if you're if you're a stylist, so we we do you know typically um, it's going to be a revenue share. Right, but we also do booth rental. You know, it depends on, on the individual. It's a it's a it's a different place because it's off the beaten path. So you have to have you have to have a solid. You gotta have business. people already. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Um, but there's no fucking cool place to work. Yeah, you're a hairstylist. True, uh, love true. it. Plus, you got like a shop here. Yeah, so little retail area, right? Um, you know, we have a lot of our standard goods. You know, we make a bunch of t-shirts and you know all the usual stuff. But then, love it. Uh, a couple of the girls uh, that work here, we uh, we have two girls that work in the shop. Uh, Caitlin and Emily, um, with Nina in the hair salon, um, Marguerite. I feel but like I uh, fit, maybe. They, there you go. But they, you know, they doubt take it. eclectic, so you know, <laughs> eclectic vintage goods, and they bring them in, and you know, just have stuff available. And love it. Yeah, I love it. I used to I love leather it. coat. You I don't anymore. I sold it because I moved to Florida. You I sound you, needed you sound like a middle aged banker that's like I used to surf. I used to be cool. <laughs> I kind of feel like like right here. Like I don't know. Ooh. You know, just, 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 you think that one might fit me? Ooh. I might need the big one. Oh, he's gonna put it on me like a like a gentleman. <laughs> well, that's the thing with I don't think it's gonna fit me. Right? Jacket. You want it to be? You want it to be? Tight? Oh, John. You want it to be high? That one's gonna be a little. Too it's tight. both of those. <laughs> that, one's gonna, that one's a little too tight. Does he need to be high? But you yeah, you want you want this to be high. Because when you sit, otherwise yeah. it, it digs into your digs into your stomach. Yeah. Not bad. You can leave it open. Here. Yeah, just leave it open. With my shirt off. Hey. <laughs> the Orlando meat shirt. <laughs> <laughs> no, hold on. Hold I do. We do need another shirt that just says here. I won't show you as you're struggling with it. It's not me. It's my arm. Oh, you're so fat. <laughs> But no, it's a super cool shop here, and uh, like you said, you can get your hair cut, but well, we got to go over to the bar. We're going to yeah. go to the bar, have yeah. a drink? The members only bar. Members only bar. You can't so, just show up. Yep. So we are... Unless you're cool. Private, right? <laughs> yeah. Private members only club. Uh -huh. So, you know, everyone has a membership. Yeah. If if, uh, if pe people come in um, that are here to partake in an event, right, um, you know, it's a very simple process. There's a you know, there's a $1.99 membership. Nice. You know, Self-expiring 24-hour membership, and... They come in, they go out. Sometimes they join and become full members. Other times they don't. Works out great. How often do you have events here? On average, probably every three weeks. Okay. Three and a half. Now we're going to be getting into, because this will be fully open. Uh, and then we have the outside area. And then we have now kind of like a regular music schedule. So uh, Heavy Mondays will be our first series. We'll be doing that once a month. Um, it's all like kind of like uh, heavy droning like stoner rock you know just very melodic music. how can people find you where can they find out this information standardmoto.co all right that's it it's the easiest way super easy or just, awesome. or just google standard motorcycle company you also have a killer instagram page thank you uh -huh. thank you we work uh, we work really feverishly to just have a lot of fun <laughs> we all have different bands throughout the week and yes. the month and big events absolutely yeah Great. all that we have a regular event schedule we do you know we do a poker night a uh, game night here uh, we do outdoor movie night, so we project two different movies on different sides of the buildings. Cool. Um, you know, we do uh, we do all kinds of stuff. bingo night. We want to do more stuff. If you have an event idea, like tell us. We'll do it. Tell yeah. Brendan. <laughs> tell John. Yeah, like, we'll do it. Have your event here. This like, you know, because the space is here. You know, cool. we just want it to be used all the time. Well, all thanks right. for having us, man. Yeah. Listen, yeah. listen to the podcast on the radio show for some more information. Absolutely. Beautiful space. He's gonna take me on a ride now. That's hey. it. Hey. <laughs>